Those guards were bothersome. Well, they certainly seem to believe your threat that you're going to cut off their, uh, you know what. I never said I was a nice person. Now hurry it up and get those goblins over here. I don't need the other guards harassing us about our hired help. Hey, we don't serve that kind here. What? Your goblins, they'll have to wait outside. We don't want them here. <laughs> Listen, why don't you wait outside? We don't want any trouble. I hardly agree with you. Okay, now's our chance to make our escape. Our escape? Why? I'm rather enjoying myself. Yeah, I gotta say, this kicks socks! Rocks, man. Rocks. What? It's rocks. This kicks rocks, not socks. Look, whatever. Albert's right. While they're inside, we can make our escape. I'm staying. I want to see what this is all about. Ellen, can't you tell they're just using you? Are you kidding me? Look, we just got a pretty big part in the season. I am not about to walk away from that. Would you if I told you I've been talking to the writers about doing a spinoff? No way. None of the spinoffs ever do good. You remember when one of our friends went off to do his own show and it basically flopped? Ouch. She does have a point. Charlie, you're so weak-minded. Actually, I'm starting to see their point. What worries me is that I'm agreeing with something that Dink thinks is a good idea. What? Aw, oh, son of a bitch. Well, clearly you guys are going to look after you. There's no way I can believe now. I had your deaths on my conscience forever, and that's just not going to happen. <laughs> what can I get for you, young lady? I am looking for two friends of mine. I think they passed through here. Well, what do they look like? One is a ranger, and one is a fighter. You're going to have to be a little more specific than that. The fighter carries a glowing sword. <laughs> have you looked outside? <laughs> These two, they probably gave you the impression of being complete idiots. Peter and Grayson? <laughs> Why didn't you just say so? <laughs> I think that Grayson fellow <laughs> is a virgin, <laughs> if you ask me. <laughs> what What makes you say that? Because he purchased some in-house entertainment, if you get my drift, then ran out screaming like a little girl before anything could happen. Interesting. Can you tell me which way they went? I think they went to the dragon cave <laughs> in search of fame and fortune. <laughs> in search of certain death. Those two are dumber than a bag of hammers. When was the last time you saw them? Mm. <clears throat> About a week ago. Can you point me in the direction of the dragon cave? Sure. If you step outside, you will see some stairs in the cliffside that lead up to a cave. Follow those stairs. From there, you'll pretty much be on your own. But I'd be careful. <laughs> There's some uh, pretty ferocious things in there. There are worse things out tonight than ferocious things in caves. Hmm. Like what? Me. You already used that line. Don't blame me. Blame the lack of creativity from the writers. Good point. We shall investigate the cave tonight. Then come back and get a good night's rest. Then we press on. Sounds good to me. I could go for sleeping in a bed tonight. Maybe with some company. No way, little man. I like men that are big and strapping and use words like shiny in casual conversation. Shiny? What kind of a fanboy would say that? <laughs>